Hey everybody, it's Paula from Crafted by the Pond. I have two hands, but see, there's the other one. Um, and this is, I wanted to come on and do a quick project share with you, um, just to kind of show you what I've been working on. And if you're interested, I want to encourage you to run out and get the supplies now because this thing is amazing. Okay, so we all know those pumpkin uh, wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. I picked one up yesterday. And then I went to the Hobby Lobby and I picked up this yarn bee, um, uh, you know, it's a skein of, uh, it's called Spice Persimony. Um, and let me just show you what I'm doing. It's the coolest thing ever. And it is so easy. I really struggle with doing wreaths and, um, this is just amazing. I had to come and tell you. The reason why I'm telling you is because I purchased this yesterday. I started working on the wreath yesterday evening. And I was like, this is fabulous. I'm loving this. I want to make more. So yesterday when I went to Hobby Lobby, I picked up two of these colors, two of this color, and a green. So I can do like the stem of the pumpkin. Um, and I thought, I have to go back this morning. I went back this morning. They had a whole bunch of this color. It was all gone except for one. There was one left, and I actually had to go look for it in the yarn section. So um, if you like what I'm going to show you, um, I'm run. Y'all run. Do not walk. Do not say, oh, well, I'll take care of it this weekend because, girl, it'd be gone. you get nothing. So... Here is my pumpkin. It's kind of halfway done. Um, I hope you can see it. But, you know, as you can see, it's just the, the basic Dollar Tree pumpkin. And what you do is you just take, you know, this yarn and you just kind of weave it um, on the pumpkin. And it gives it like this really cute like a uh, cable knit sweater kind of look. Um, if you guys are interested, I can come back and show you how to do it. It is so easy, you guys. And you can like sit and just like watch television or just, you know, be while you're waiting for your dinner to cook. You can just kind of work on and do a couple rows. Um, but this is amazing. And so it's so so easy, guys. It really is just so easy. I mean, all you're doing is um, basically running it through. Um, I guess I could cut. I don't. I think. Hold on. All right. So here's like, and this is how much I've used, you know, half. So, but, and you can see like, and this is how the back looks. So you're just like weave, you know, you're just like weaving it. You're not like doing anything crazy. There's nothing special that you need. Like you don't need a special skill. And this is the first time I have crafted in public. So I hope you guys are excited. <laughs> I don't normally craft in public. As you can see, I have this end here and you would think, oh my gosh, well, what's she going to do? And you're just going to take it. And you're just going to tie yourself a little knot here because once it's all done, I mean, you're, we're not, you're not going to see it at all. So I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but you want to kind of get it on there so it's good and tight. And I always do a double knot just to be better safe than sorry, right? And then you take and you just trim these away. Be careful not to cut your knot. You know, because nobody's going to see the back anyway, because the back is the part that hangs on the wall. So then you just kind of take, you know, I don't know, I get a pretty good long size, you know, pick as much as you want to kind of work with. Um, the smaller the length you cut your, your yarn, um, the quicker you can kind of run it through. So let me just snip that off. my first crafting in public video. I'm such a big girl. Hi, mom. Hi, pop. 
Hi, Morgan. Hi, Dottie. Okay, so now, I don't know how I can do this without showing you. It's going to probably be upside down for you. Um, but if you have the form and it's actually facing you, let me see if I can do it this way. I think I can. So what you want to do is, you know, we have our, our yarn here, right? You want to find your end, okay? And all you do is just, you're just weaving it, weaving it through, just in and out. Like, remember those little loom things we used to work on when we were kids? this that's all you're doing and you just go and you find you know you make a little hole with your finger and make sure that you're running it on you know this other one and you just kind of pull it all the way through okay and you know, you want to have it a little tight, but not too tight. And then you just kind of go back the other way. Take your string. Now it goes in there. Find your end. I'm really like fast with it now, but I'm not at the moment because <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys and it's like upside down and it looks just like a big mess of spaghetti, but I just found my end. So you always want to like when I'm doing it, I'm like so fast anymore that I just can pull it by itself and not, you know, I just go for it, man. Um, so there, um, okay, hold on, guys, I got to turn you around. But you kind of you kind of get the idea, right? So like I said, this craft is quick, it's easy, it's simple. Um, it looks, it's gonna look really, really high end. And uh, when I'm all done with the pumpkin, I can pop on and show you, because I plan to finish this today, like this, um, uh, I want to finish it today so I can, you know, show you guys what it actually looks like when you're done, as you can see, like, you can just like do this and like watch a movie or be watching TV. It's just, it's so simple. Um, the yarn itself um, is like $6.99 right now at Hobby Lobby, but they actually are having a sale on their yarn, so it's 33% off, so it was like 5 bucks and some change. And of course, you know, the pumpkin wreath form from the Dollar Tree is $1.25. Now, I tried to go to my Dollar Tree. I went out real early this morning, like at 9 o'clock, because I, I had a lot of things I wanted to get done today. And um, I only picked up one of the pumpkin wreath forms yesterday because I thought, oh, well, I'll just grab one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, um, but I, I at least want to have one in my stash. Now I'm kicking myself in the tail because the next time I go out, I've got to go and go to that Dollar Tree across town that I went to yesterday. Um because I know they they had these wreath forms, but like I said, these things are going to sell like hotcakes, especially just because like this uh, wreath form is in, always in high demand during the holiday season. And then once people get a load of this, look out. This is like no joke. Um, if you're a beginning crafter, it's a good craft to do. And like I said, you can sit here and just, you can have a conversation with somebody. You're not doing anything. And it's just, it's so, so simple. So um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I hope you enjoyed my first ever crafting in public <laughs> video. Um, so, um, but I will pop on tomorrow um, to show you uh, how um, it's going to look. So here's the top of again. And look, it's got that beautiful, like, um, you know, that cable knit sweater, if you will, um, look to it. And it's real easy. Like if you have spots that are, aren't looking the way that you want, you can kind of go through the back and fluff it up and adjust it. It's so forgiving. And it's just, it really is going to look very high end when I'm done. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, let me know, drop in the description if uh, you're going to try this and uh, how my first uh, crafting in public video went. <laughs>
So anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. I have a Dollar Tree haul, a Hobby Lobby haul, Amazon, Aldi, Michaels. They're small, but, you know, the Dollar Tree one is huge. Um, so I will come back because I'm getting ready to start my new job on Monday. So I wanted to make sure that the items that I wanted for my fall crafting, I had them on hand. So I'm like on the weekend, um, when I want to craft, I already have my supplies ready to go. So anyway, all right guys, um, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really does help my channel and uh, I appreciate you all for watching and just your friendship and um always checking in and uh i guess that's it i'm rambling on so um okay guys be sweet and be kind and i'll be back tomorrow okay bye